So when you get stressed out, this energy center enlarges. When it enlarges, it also generates a certain color, red. So when that's generated, your appetite also goes up. So if you like, we'll do a simple experiment just to see how will you do this. Okay. Mm, let's see. Can you try to crave a food right now? Mm. <laughs> Whatever you like, come on. Something, not someone. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to clarify. <laughs> Can I say that here? Is that, you guys said that too holy, right? I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I to talk to some churches. Sometimes they have to be you no know, jokes like that. Anyway. Okay, try to crave a food right now. Are you there? I mean, like, if it's in front of you, you just grab it and throw it in your mouth. Almost? All right, let's try something. In front of you, imagine a green fire. What color? Green. All right, don't mess with this, huh? Green. Green. Imagine a green fire in front of you. Now, take your hand like this, like this. Imagine your hand is wrapped in light. So just like you saw in the video, cleansing, we do sweeping. So cup your hands, just scrape like this. Imagine scraping clouds out of your soul plexus, throw it in the green fire. Keep going till it actually stop. Just clean, just imagine you're scraping. Keep going till it actually stop. In fact, uh, I can show you how it's done, but keep going. I think you saw it earlier, the clean. So just sweeping. All right, throw it to the green fire. Now go like this, to the green fire. Now, put your hand like this. Imagine you have a lot of blue light. What color? Blue. blue. Light, light blue. Now cover your entire soul plexus, not your heart. No, no, don't give yourself chest pain. Below your sternum, cover it with blue. Say solar plexus. Solar plexus. Smaller. Small. Smaller. Small. Come on, open your mouth. Smaller. 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 Solar plexus. Smaller. 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 What color are we using? Blue. A little, a little, more layers. Go. A few more layers of blue. Just like that. Blue, 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 blue. Let me check it. A little more. One more layer of blue. Okay, good enough. How's the food? Seriously, try to crave it. How many of you would kind of have to, what was that again? No, be honest. You don't have to just say to make me happy. How many actually notice there's less interest? How many actually have to think about what it was? Yeah. Okay, there's a simple rule. The condition of your chakras affect your behavior. Your behavior affect your chakras. What did I say? <laughs> when I ask you to repeat, not because I'm hard of hearing. I'm having you repeat so you remember it. So the condition of your chakras affect your behavior. Your behavior affect your chakras. Let's see if that's true. Go like this. Put your hand like this. Above your soul plexus on the sternum is the heart center. Okay? So put your hand like this. Say my heart center. My heart center. Okay? Start from afar. Slowly come in. Whether you feel it or not, just leave it here and just say my heart center. My heart center. Okay, ready? Okay, keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Keep your hands where they are. Close your eyes. Imagine someone you love in front of you. It could be your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, children, parents, whoever it is. Imagine the person in front of you, smile, come on you guys, when you smile the edges of your lips go up, <laughs> when you really smile the eye go up, you look Chinese, come on, smile, <laughs> just smile, just say from my heart to yours, I shower you with much love and much affection, unconditionally, so be it, okay, anybody feel something in your palm? Does it feel like it's collapsing or you can feel a slight push? push. Who can feel a slight temperature? Mm -hmm. What temperature would you, would you say? Warm. Who can feel a slight warm sensation? Warm. Warm. Okay, put your hand up. You see, when you started, the sensation, you're feeling the heart center at a certain level. Once you start feeling that emotion, you notice the heart start pushing your hand. So your behavior affected the chakras. So the idea is something like this. When Dr. Robinson and I were writing the book, we were talking about that's his specialization, dealing with emotions. So when I was talking to him, he looked at it from the traditional, uh, 
what I would say, traditional hypnotherapy and psychotherapy techniques. So we were discussing it, and after all, we realized one thing: the two actually work together. So your emotions affect your energy body. Your energy body affects your emotions. By the time we put together, that's the fastest way to deal with emotions. In other words, when somebody's stressed out, you can talk to them. The problem is, they won't listen to you. They stress out of their mind. But after you clean the stress energy out, suddenly they're receptive to you. I'll give you an example. Many years ago, are you interested in this or not? Yes. Okay. No, I need to come because I don't want to bore you with things you're not interested in. <clears throat> so many years ago, my family and I were in Vegas. And suddenly I hear this screaming and yelling in the other room. It's my wife and my older daughter. They're just yelling and screaming. What the heck is going on? I went over there and my wife says something. My, my daughter would yell back and go, hey, you know, in Asian tradition, you're not supposed to raise your voice to your parents. I said, hey, give me that. No, I can't do it. And she just keeps going. So what I did, I didn't bother to talk to her. I grabbed my daughter, pulled her to the next room, started cleaning her up. Okay. No, she knows what I do. So I clean. So after about 10 minutes, how are you feeling? <laughs> Better. <laughs> and suddenly, at that point, I noticed the voice start calming down. Mm-hmm. Now, I did not tell her, okay, don't be angry, don't say, I didn't even ask her what the problem is. My job is just a psychic janitor. <laughs> okay? To change the energetic condition. No, I'm serious. So, I sent her back. I waited. It was quiet. I peeked the hug and said, I'm sorry, mom. Yeah. Then, here's the interesting part. After my daughter went, whatever, I talked to my wife and said, what's that all about? Oh, it's her first period. <laughs> She's never had a period. No, yeah, so the emotions swelled out. She didn't know how to deal with it. Well, my wife didn't know, so suddenly, I could have sat there trying to analyze it. Just grab it, clean her up. You get what I'm saying? It's an easy way of doing it. So I'll cover that in more detail when we go to the chakras. Let's keep going. So, just keep an open mind. All right, this is very, very important. Put your hand like this. Make a small circle. Just a small circle. Say, first level of truth. Uh-huh. Start at the bottom, make a bigger circle around it. Say, second level, second level of truth. Does it contain the first level? Yes. Start at the bottom, make a bigger circle. Say third level of truth. Third uh-huh. Does it contain the first two? Yes. Alright, put your hand down. It's something like this. In order to understand deeper spiritual teachings, you have to understand there's this concept that there are different levels of truth. Uh, let's try something. How do you remember, in one of the biblical lessons, the Lord Jesus washing the feet of the apostles? How do you remember? Okay. First level of truth, because their feet were dirty. Why would you wash somebody's feet if it's clean? Next level of truth, what did you learn in church? Why did you wash your, your feet? Come on, do you guys remember stories like that? Uh, service. Service to show humility. Yes. Right? Okay, that's the second level of truth. But you know, if you study further, that doesn't hold water. You know why? Because the next verse, the Lord Jesus, uh, Peter said, Lord, do not wash my feet. And he said, if you don't let me wash your feet, you have no part of me. In other words, if it's just about showing humility, why would you make a big deal? Because there's a higher truth. It's something like this. Sarah, why don't you volunteer? Over here. Okay. <clears throat> How many notice in certain traditions, before you enter the temple or church, you have to remove your shoes? And some traditions, they even have to wash their feet. Why? Just not to bring dirt in? There's a deeper reason. This is why. Okay, uh, remove your sandals for a second. <coughs> it's okay. All right, everybody rub your hands together. Can you see Sarah? Yes. <coughs> okay. Just follow me, go like this. Imagine her standing in front of you. Say, Sarah. 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 The size of a crown center. So visualize her in front of you, just bring your hand out, just like you're feeling your heart, you don't matter. Okay, say so Sarah, the size of your crown. Sarah, the size of your crown. All right. Keep your hand there. Keep your hand there. I'm going to simulate washing her feet. Okay, let me just spray this. 
this one get all the energy. Raise it up. Raise the foot up. This one get all the energy. The other side. The other side. Yeah. Okay. Just keep it on your palate. I'll sweep the with the energy out of your feet. Anybody knows anything happening to the size of the crown? <coughs> Is it getting smaller or can you feel a slight push? Okay, you can pretend down. Simple question. Why does washing the feet change the size of the crown? If you, if you have somebody do Thai massage, they don't start with the head, they always start with the feet. How many have Thai massage before? They always start with the feet. The question is why. It's something like this. <coughs> you see, if you have somebody who could see the aura, look at the aura of a person, it's brightest in the top and dimmest at the bottom. So just imagine your spiritual light coming in, it's very, very bright. Because of the blockages, the stuff we go through, it goes through sediments. Mm -hmm. So by the time it gets to the lower part of your body, hardly any of that spiritual energy goes to the feet. So it's bright here, gray down there. So when you wash the feet of the apostles, it actually allowed the spiritual force to flow through, allowing them to become more spiritual. If you don't understand about energy, that story is impossible to understand. So the first level of truth, he washed your feet because the feet were dirty. Second level of truth, he wanted to show humility. Third level of truth is to spiritualize the apostles. All three truths can exist at the same time. How are they so far? Thank you. Over here. Now, so the question is, what is the takeaway from that lesson? It's very simple. Every time you take a shower, in your shower, always have a small container with salt, fine salt, with lavender oil. So every time you wash your shower, always take a little bit, rub from your knee down with the salt and lavender oil. Number one, you'll notice your prayer time and meditations become deeper. And number two, you will notice you control your emotions a lot better. The question is why? It's the same thing. Just imagine you have this pipeline of energy going through. If the area below is blocked, it's like a backup toilet. If you keep that area clean, the energy flows through. Before your negative emotions build up, it's already flushed out. And salt is cheap. Lavender is cheap. And if you want to learn, you can wash your arms. What salt? What kind? Uh, the cheapest one you can find. <laughs> Come on, we're Chinese. We like cheap stuff. No, I'm kidding. All right. Oh, by the way, before I do this, have you heard the uh, revision to Genesis? You know, Genesis says, in the beginning, God created, created the heavens and the earth. Would you like to know the new version? Yes. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and everything else is made in China after. No. <laughs> 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 All right.